wait, what? You telling me it's not Christmas anymore? You sure? Looking at all this stuff, it's sure looking a lot like Christmas to me. Seriously though, look at all this stuff. You can't tell me this isn't looking like Christmas. Birthday. I mean, Christmas was a few months back and my birthday for a few months still. There should be no reason that I should have this much stuff from the bro. Chris, Rex Flex All 69, hooking it up, super extra as always. I mean, we worked a trade, and this is what I wanted in the trade. Man, that John Wick, oh, that's like gonna be one of the most best Mezco 112s I could ever have, I know it. But, look at all this stuff. This was all unknown that I was gonna get all of this. All of this. That's a whole lot of all of this to throw in with the trade. Um, so yeah, the bro treating it like Christmas every damn time. Thank you so much, man. Look at all this good stuff. Just look at all that Overwatch goodness right there. Man, that is some cool stuff. Look at that diva with Mecha. Yeah, I'm definitely displaying that, which it's ironic because I don't display a whole lot, but a lot of the things I end up displaying I got from Chris. Um, but truth be told, I'm trying to keep this video brief, so I'm trying to crack some stuff open. But I just want to give a quick look, especially this, because this is one of the things I, <laughs> I'm so excited to crack open right now. Um, so the plastic over this is not giving you a great look, but you, if you collect these, you might be familiar with the figure. This John Wick figure, oh man, I'm like, I could stop collecting figures right now because um, I now officially have the most badass action figure ever. But before we wrap this up, we gotta take a look at what's inside of these boxes as well. Now this, I'm pretty sure is it's the, um, the WWE Loyal Subjects uh, action vinyls. Uh, he mentioned a couple things. I think this might be a complete set, might, oh! Then some other things. I mean, no surprise there. That's how Chris does it. Um, so there's these. These actual ring pieces are super rare. Uh, and then along with, I think it's the rest of the series, aside from the ones he, he hooked me up with previously, I think, if I remember right, he hooked me up with the... Um, the Sasha Banks and the Finn Balor. So I think the rest of them are here. Um, but check it out. Aliens, Gray Camo Hudson, freaking Peter Griffin. Yes. King of the Hill, Hank Hill. And then also King of the Hill, Dale. Yes, yes, that is so cool. Oh man, that is crazy. Um, up to this point, still the only um, Loyal Subjects Action Finals WWE I had was the two that he gave me previously. So now I have, oh, I'm about to get my wrestling on with these. That is awesome. And then this Geek Fuel box, let's see what could be inside here. Oh, look at that. From Home Alone. It's Kevin's beanie. Oh, that is cool. You know what? My wife is actually going to love this. She loves Home Alone. Uh, one of these. I remember I, I previously got a, a Geek Fuel box from them before. This is cool. It's a mystery. Whatever little thingy thing is in here. Um, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, what is this? Oh, it's an enamel pin. Oh, that is cool. And then a Ghostbusters ring. I think around the ring it's going to say, I ain't afraid no ghosts. That is cool. And let's see the size. Small, I, that will probably actually fit me. That's awesome. And then last, oh shit. 
More Diva goodness. Look at that. It's one of these fig pins, but it's a damn XL. This thing is huge. These things are normally like, I don't know, what, about that big or so? This is a huge one. Oh, that looks awesome. This, 100%, is getting displayed. Oh, that is, that is just awesome. Yes! And this one, this Skybound Mystery Box. Whew. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous about this one. Nervous in a good way, though. I've never actually seen one of these. I don't know what to expect, but I feel like, man, it is gonna have some good stuff in here. Oh man, let us see. Some of you might be familiar with this and already know what to expect, but I really have no idea. Although he did mention something, so we'll see. All right, look, there's a bunch of enamel pins which is always really cool. And so these are all gonna be from like Skybound Properties, which is probably gonna be a lot of Walking Dead stuff, but then some other, some other Skybound Properties. That's really cool. I'm totally using this keychain right there. Cool stuff. Um, so, from Outcast. Kyle Barnes. I'm not actually familiar with Outcast. Is this a show? Because I, I was assuming that the stuff, like other than like Walking Dead, or but even the Walking Dead stuff, it's going to be stuff from the the comic, not the show. Um, so I don't know. Is this a show or a comic? Because that looks like it's you know it's like some live action stuff. Interesting. And this Walking Dead. Look at that. Oh, look, and it's the Mega Box. That's what, is that what this is considered? A Mega Box? Um, but it's a Negan Rick Grimes. Whoa, that is cool. The Invincible. I'm assuming this is some sort of special variant. Um, limited edition Invincible action figure, like a bloody variant. Beaten and bloodied. That's awesome. This is cool stuff. Holy crap, look at this. Now this is something that you're going to fully appreciate if you're not only a Walking Dead fan, but a G.I. Joe fan. And look how big this card is. So it's an homage to, to G.I. Joe Python Patrol, but it's Alpha with a Python Patrol Deco, but it's not just the figure, it's the whole card is like real American hero style, real apocalypse hero. Holy crap, that is, oh, even the back, look at that. That is freaking awesome. So, Lucille Patrol is an homage to Python Patrol and Shiva Force is an homage to Tiger Force. Makes sense. Okay, if this really is called the Mega Box, it really, it truly is. Look, there's there's still more in here. So we've got some um, some of the trade. Um, I think this is the the trading card game uh, decks. Oh, there's a Street Fighter one. So this is an expansion deck. Do you need like some sort of uh, starter deck to, to play? Because that is cool. I love me some Street Fighter. But look, more figure goodness. I'm not familiar with this. Uh, is it a comic? I'm assuming it's a comic. Die, 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 which sounds and it actually looks really cool. And these figures look really cool so even though i'm not familiar with it i want to get familiar with it and mess with these figures because they they look pretty damn awesome look at those guns too those look good and then oh look at that there's some comics in here so there is um 
what is this and it's the mega box exclusive not sure what uh what issue this is 171 fear the princess but that is cool i'm gonna um, check that out and th oh holy crap okay he did he did say something discreetly he was like hope you like graded comics um that's what there's still oh what okay i thought this was the end of the road right here okay wait let's let's pull that aside for a second there's still more stuff in here there's a uh what looks like a graphic novel manifest destiny volume one and then there's there's more stuff in here still what the okay looks like this is i thought this was just some backing paper but it looks like it's it's actually something like a little poster, and, and that is actually the end of the road after this. Let's check this, this poster out. See if I can get this thing open. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Walking Dead, All Out War. Yeah, that is an awesome poster, but... Okay. Mind blown right about now. Look at that. It is The Walking Dead. Issue number two. Graded. I don't, I, I have no idea what something like this is worth. I gotta imagine it's, it's got a, a, a fair value on it. Um, again, I have never had a graded comic. In fact, I've seen them a lot, you know, mostly like some at like comic shops and mostly like at conventions and stuff during, before COVID world and conventions were still a thing. But I don't think I've even actually held one. I, I believe the term here, they call these slabs um, because of the big, uh, I think it's acrylic case these things are in. But, okay, so it's the Walking Dead 15th Anniversary Edition number two, not the, not the original number two. That would be pretty, pretty insane, but still, this is, look, the 9.8 white pages. Um, Repent's Walking, Walking Dead number two, polybag removed. Okay. Yeah, this is, you know, it's interesting though, holding this now, because for a while I've been considering getting some of my comics graded. I've never done it, but but I'm, I'm, I feel like there's a few that are worth doing it on. But man, there's, wow, I, I have a graded comic. I, I would never have, I, I just can't, can't believe that I'm holding a graded comic. So, you know, being a, a reprinted, issue being the anniversary edition this might not be like crazy valuable but it's i'm sure it has some value nonetheless and like wow that is cool like how do you guys display these this is like the kind of thing like can i hang it this just is too cool not to display i'm gonna have to find some way put it like on a stand or something damn bro wow just just wow Thanks so much, Chris. Man, I every time you hook me up, I just feel like I owe you ten times more than I ever did. How? How to ever repay you or even thank you. But thanks so much, bro. Thank you guys for watching.